Masks. It is the start of another day at Peppa's Playgroup. <laughs> Good morning, children. Where is Madame Gazelle? Here I am. Mom. Oh. I was wearing a mask. <laughs> you were in disguise. Yes, and today you will all be making masks. Hooray! We have cardboard and coloured paper, <laughs> crayons and paints, <laughs> feathers, pipe cleaners, buttons, pom-poms. Can we use glitter? <clears throat> no glitter. Please, Madam Gazelle. Please, Madam Gazelle. No, I have only just managed to clean up from the last glitter event. Begin your masks, children. <laughs> Peppa is using coloured tissue paper. I'm making a butterfly mask. Danny Dog is using buttons and drinking straws. I'm making a robot mask. <laughs> Susie Sheep is using feathers. I'm making a magic owl mask. Twit twoo! I've made a superhero mask. Nay. I've made a carrot mask. <laughs> And my little brother Richard is a baby carrot. We like carrots. <laughs> George has made a dinosaur mask. <laughs> dinosaur. <laughs> and what mask is yours, Edmund? It is the solar system with all the planets. I see. I've included Pluto, even though it's only classed as a planetoid. Very good. <laughs> Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. <laughs> So, are we all finished? Mine would look better with some glitter on it. Please, can we have some glitter, Madam Gazelle? Glitter, 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 glitter. There are lots glitter, of other shiny glitter, things you can glitter. use. Not as good as glitter. Glitter, glitter, glitter. No, glitter gets everywhere. There is no getting rid of it once it comes out. It is a menace. But it's so special and magic. Please, can we have some glitter? Please? Oh, all right. But only if you all promise to be very, very careful with it. We promise. OK. I will unlock the glitter cabinet. Madam Gazelle keeps the glitter safely locked away. Now, children, you did promise to use this glitter very carefully. It is home time and the parents have come to collect the children. Ah! Glitter! Don't panic. Please remain calm. There was a glitter leak, but we have it under control now. <laughs> Today, the children have been making masks. Ooh. Ho, ho, I'm here to pick up Pepper and George, but I can't see them anywhere. I'm a pretty butterfly. <laughs> flutter, flutter, flutter. <laughs> Excuse me, Mrs. Butterfly. I'm looking for two little piggies. Do you know where I can find them? <laughs> I tricked you! It's me! <gasps> Peppa! What a surprise! But where is George? <laughs> ah! <laughs> George, it's you! <laughs> I thought you were a dinosaur! <laughs> <laughs> Madam Gazelle, I can't find Rebecca and Richard. Would you mind if I took these two carrots home instead? <laughs> Silly, Mummy! It's us! Oh, <laughs> Rebecca, Richard! <laughs> Come on, Pedro. Time to go home. I am not Pedro. I am Super Pony. Oh, does Super Pony want to come home? Or does Super Pony want to stay here for the night? Come home with you, please, Mummy. <laughs> Haven't we all had fun making wonderful masks? Who are you? It is I, Madame Gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> Madame Gazelle loves masks. Everyone loves masks. Nursery rhymes. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today we are doing nursery rhymes. Ooh. Who has a favourite nursery rhyme? My favourite is Mary had a little lamb. Oh, yes. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was 
was white as snow And everywhere that Mary went Mary went, Mary went And everywhere that Mary went The lamb was sure to go <laughs> <laughs> I like that one It had a sheep in it <laughs> That was lovely, Peppa Thank you Who else has a favourite nursery rhyme? I like Little Bo Peep and can you sing, Little Bo Peep? Yes, and it goes like this. <gasps> little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. I don't like that one. It's about sheep getting lost. It's too sad. Yes. Does anyone know a nursery rhyme that isn't about sheep? Me, me. Yes, Pedro. <gasps> ba ba black sheep. Oh, sorry. I know one about a cat. Oh, splendid candy. Can you share it with us? <coughs> hey, diddle, diddle, the cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. Mm. The little dog loved to see such fun. <laughs> and the dish ran away with the spoon. <laughs> Dishes <laughs> running away with spoons? And the cows jumping over moons? Crazy stuff! <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? I know a rhyme about a mouse. Very good, Freddy. Hickory dickory dog. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. The mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dog. <laughs> oh, that one makes a lot more sense. Mice do like to run around. Madam Gazelle? I know a rhyme that has numbers in it. Excellent, Wendy. Please share it with the class. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger so. Which finger did it bite? This little finger on my right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the poor little fish was frightened. It was kind to throw it back. Madam Gazelle? Yes, Pedro? I like Robin Hood. OK. And does Robin Hood have a rhyme? Yes. Robin Hood lived in a wood. He was very good at jumping in mud. <laughs> very good, Pedro. I made it up myself. <laughs> Madam Gazelle, I know a rhyme about marching. <coughs> we have to go outside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the grand old Duke of York. He had ten thousand men. He marched them up to the top of the hill when he marched them down again. And when they're Good exercise. Madam Gazelle, do you have a favourite nursery rhyme? But of course, Pedro. Would you all like to sing it with me? Yes, please. Everybody, hold hands. <laughs> <laughs> ring a ring a roses, a pocket full of roses, a tissue, a tissue, we all fall down. <laughs> Peppa loves nursery rhymes. Everybody loves nursery rhymes. Parachute jump. It is raining and the school roof is leaking again. Oh, didn't I fix this roof for you before, Madam Gazelle? Yes, Mr Bull, but still it goes drippity drip drip. It's probably a broken roof tile. I wonder if it's this one. Has the dripping stopped? No, it's dripping more. Maybe these are the broken tiles. Is that any better? No, it's getting worse. Hmm, this is a big hole you've got here. It's going to cost a lot of money to fix. Oh, dear. Where shall we get the money to mend the school roof this time? My daddy did a parachute jump for charity. He floated down and made lots of money. Hooray! 
Good idea, Pedro. Hands up. Who thinks their mummy or daddy would like to do a parachute jump? My mummy. My, oh, my, my, my daddy. My daddy. My my daddy. Me. We need just one. Pepper and George have arrived back home. Mummy, the school roof is leaking again. Is it, darling? Yes. Madam Gazelle says it needs a lot of money to mend. Yes, yes, I'm sure it does. She asked if somebody's mummy or daddy would jump out of an aeroplane. Oh, I hope you didn't say daddy would do it, Pepper. You know he doesn't like heights. But you don't mind heights, do you, Mummy? I'm fine with heights. Good. Oh, thank you, Mummy Pig, for agreeing to jump from an aeroplane. What? But I've never done it before. You'll be fine. Remember, it is for the children. Oh, in that case, of course I'll do it. Hooray for Mummy Pig! It is the day of Mummy Pig's parachute jump. I'm still not sure I really want to do this. It's all in a good cause, Mummy Pig. But I don't know how to jump out of an aeroplane. Don't worry, you'll get lots of training first. Hello, Mummy Pig. Mr Rabbit is the parachute trainer. This is a parachute. It will help you float through the air after you jump. Should I practice that? Practice what? Jumping. Why not? There, you're a natural. Is that it? Yes, you are now fully trained. Hooray! All aboard! I'm still a tiny bit worried about this jump, Daddy Pig. It's okay, Mummy Pig. I'll come up in the plane with you. Good luck, Mummy! <laughs> Don't worry, Mummy Pig. Remember, you've got a parachute. Yes, Daddy Pig. Oh, we are a long way from the ground. Oh, oh dear. Oh. Daddy Pig has fallen out of the plane. There she goes. Oh, wait. That's Daddy Pig. Oh. Wait for me, Daddy Pig. Whee! Mummy Pig has jumped. She is going to rescue Daddy Pig. She's got him! Hooray! My mummy to the rescue! Thank you for saving me, Mummy Pig! Oh, Teddy Pig, you're starting to slip! Mr Bull has just finished mending the school roof. Lovely job! It'll last for years! I can't hold on! Ah! Daddy! <laughs> Is Daddy Pig all right? Oh, oh, I'm fine. Good, because you'll need to do that parachute jump again. What? To raise the money to fix this new hole in the school roof. Oh, all right. Hooray for Daddy Pig! <laughs> Simple science. It is playtime at Peppa's playgroup. <laughs> Stop! Mr. Bull, what are you doing to our playground? We're digging it up! <laughs> Mr. Bull loves digging. <laughs> Hello! Daddy, why are you here? I'm working with Mr. Bull. Ooh! It looks like Mr. Bull is doing all the work. Mr. Bull just builds the playground. <laughs> I do the hard bit, planning it all. Ah. I've worked it all out with science. That sounds very interesting, Daddy Pig. It is. Would you like to teach the children some simple science? It would be my pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start by doing an experiment. <laughs> what is an experiment? It's a way to find something out that we don't know. Like, how many children does it take to lift Madame Gazelle? One. A hundred. Ten hundred. <laughs> You're all just guessing. What's the answer? I don't know, but we can use an experiment to find out. Who wants to try and lift Madame Gazelle? Me. Me. Oh, 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 oh. I can't lift her. 
Madam Gazelle is too heavy for one child to lift. Let's try two children. <laughs> She's very heavy. Madam Gazelle is too heavy for two children to lift. Let's try three children. <laughs> it takes three children to lift Madam Gazelle. We just did some simple science. It was fun. <laughs> Let's do another experiment. Yes! Make a tower of blocks. <laughs> Very good, but the tower looks a bit wobbly. Oh. How can we make the tower less wobbly? Um, put the big blocks at the bottom and the small blocks at the top. Fantastic! Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. Can we do more experiments? Of course. Who can tell me their favourite game? Jumping up and down in muddy puddles. And what do we need to make a muddy puddle? Dirt and water. Dirt and water. Mix them together to make a muddy puddle. Pepper, please test the puddle. This puddle is too dry. Let's add some more water. Please jump again, Pepper. This puddle is just right. Nice and muddy. <laughs> and making muddy puddles is a bit like making concrete. Concrete is what we're using to make your new playground. It starts off wet and soft like mud, then it sets and goes hard forever. Ooh. Right now, it is gloopy like custard. Let me show you. You see, it's very soft. But who can tell me what's going to happen next? The concrete will go hard. Exactly. It will set as hard as rock. Uh, Daddy Pig, I think you should step out of there before... I'll be with you in a moment, Mr Bull. I'm just talking to the children. Yes, but... Uh... You see, the concrete is soft. Still soft. And now... Hard. Wow! All thanks to a bit of simple science. Now, Mr. Bull, uh, what was it you were saying? I was trying to say you should get out before the concrete goes hard. Ah. Daddy Pig is stuck. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I'll have you out in a jiffy. How? I'll dig up the playground. <laughs> Daddy Pig loves being dug out of concrete. Everyone loves being dug out of concrete. <laughs> Pepper and her family are driving home. That was a great day out. Now all I want to do is get home, put my feet up and have a lovely cup of... Dinosaur. <sighs> George has lost Mr Dinosaur again. Oh dear. George could have lost Mr Dinosaur anywhere. We've been to so many places today. We went to the shops, to the playground, to the park. <laughs> George cannot remember where he left Mr Dinosaur. Oh well, Mr Dinosaur is lost forever then. <laughs> Don't worry, George. Somebody will have found Mr Dinosaur. Yes, and when people find lost things, they take them to the police station. So that's where Mr Dinosaur will be. This is the police station. Here are Police Officer Squirrel and Police Officer Panda. They are doing important police work. Very good donuts, these. Yes, donuts really are the best. Mm. The police like donuts. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. That is how the police say hello. And how may we help you today? Dinosaur. George has lost Mr Dinosaur. Don't worry, George. I'm sure you'll find your dinosaur. All you've got to do is keep your ears and eyes open. Uh, actually, we were hoping some kind person might have found George's toy dinosaur and brought it here. I see. We'll need to question George. It's just routine. Please describe your dinosaur in your own words. Take your time. Use as many words as you like. Dinosaur! 
Dinosaur. Excellent description. Hmm. We do have some lost dinosaurs in the back. Follow me. Wow! What a lot of stuff. Yes, it's amazing the things people lose. Umbrellas. Handbags. Pirate treasure. Wow! wow. Yes, pirates are always forgetting where they buried their treasure. People dig the treasure up, and when they can't find the pirate who legally owns it... They bring the treasure here. Funny thing is, not one single pirate has ever walked into our police station to claim their treasure. This cement mixer was found in a train. The passenger must have forgotten it. Ooh. And this banana was found in a shoe shop. How in the world it got there, we'll never know. <laughs> I'm sorry, young lad. What were we looking for again? Dinosaur. Oh, yes. Here we are. A box full of plastic dinosaurs. Is this your Stegosaurus? No. How about this Triceratops? No. This Brontosaurus? No. Hmm. I'm afraid that's all the toy dinosaurs we've got. Oh. Don't worry, George. I'm sure you'll find your dinosaur. All you've got to do is keep your ears and eyes open. <laughs> oh, who put that lamppost there? Yes, it's not a safe place to put a lamppost. Dangerous lamppost on public highway. Aha! Uh -huh. So this is your car, is it? Uh, yes. The very same car you used for your day out when the dinosaur was lost? Yes. Why? Bear with us, please, madam. Did you look for George's dinosaur in the car? Well, uh, no. We assume... Please step away from the car, madam. Nothing in here. Completely clean. Mind if we open the boot, madam? Uh, go ahead. Hello, hello, hello. Look what we found here. <laughs> ah, yes. Why didn't we think of looking in the boot? Thank you so much. Just doing our job, madam. <laughs> George loves Mr. Dinosaur, and Mr. Dinosaur loves George. <laughs> Doctors! It is playtime for Pepper and her friends. <laughs> What's that noise? It's coming from the tree. It's Tiddles the tortoise. Naughty Tiddles, come down at once. I can shake the tree to get Tiddles down. Is that a good idea, Pedro? Don't worry, I am Super Pedro. Ow! Oh dear, what has happened? Tiddles fell on Pedro's nose. My nose hurts. Poor Pedro. I will call for the doctor. Dr. Brown Bear speaking. A bumped nose, you say? I'll be right there. Hello. Where is the patient? Here. My nose hurts. I see. Say, ah. Uh... Ah. Uh... You need a plaster. There. That will make it better. Hooray! My glasses don't work. Pedro's glasses are all muddy. Oh, Dr. Brown Bear, can you fix Pedro's glasses? No, I can't. You'll need an optician for that. An optician is a doctor who knows about glasses. My daddy's an optician. Hello, Dr. Pony speaking. A pair of glasses not working, you say? I'm on my way. Hello, Daddy. Hello, son. What seems to be the problem? My glasses aren't working. Can you read this chart? No, my glasses aren't working. Why, these glasses just need a good clean. <laughs> Is that better? <laughs> yes. Thank you, Daddy. Dr. Pony has fixed Pedro's glasses. Hooray! Thank you, Doctors. Everything is back to normal. But Tiddles needs helping too. Hmm. Its legs are wiggling in the air. It seems to be upside down. 
Can you doctors help a tortoise in trouble? No, I'm afraid we can't treat animals. Oh. You need a vet. A vet is a doctor for animals. Hello, Dr. Hamster speaking. Upside down tortoise, you say? I'll be right there. Hello, Doctor. Hello, Doctor. Hello, Doctor. Hello, Doctor. Now, where's the patient? Here. He fell out of the tree. Tiddles, you little pickle. What have I said about climbing trees? Will he be OK? Yes. Let's just flip you over. There. Good as new. Hooray! That was an interesting technique you used there. Standard procedure, really. It is Dr Elephant, the dentist. Hello, everyone. I heard there was an emergency. Are everyone's teeth OK? Yes, yes thank, thank you. you. A dentist is a doctor who looks after teeth. I'll be on my way then. <laughs> oh dear, Dr Elephant's car won't start. Do any of you doctors know how to fix a car? Um, no. no. I know who to call. Hello! Granddad Dog's breakdown service. Trouble with a car? I'll be right there. <laughs> Hello! Hello! Try the engine. Hmm. Try it again. There. Good as new. Hooray! <laughs> Grandad Dog is a car doctor. <laughs> there are doctors for everything, even cars. <laughs> The castle. Today, Pepper and George are going to visit a castle. What will we do at the castle, Mummy? Let me see what the guidebook says. Will the castle be good or will it be boring? It will be good. Will we see knights in armour? <laughs> George likes knights in armour. You never know, George. We might even see a dragon. A pretend dragon, Daddy Pig. Yes, Daddy. Dragons are in storybooks. They're not really real. <laughs> Peppa and her family have arrived at the castle. Welcome to the castle tour. Cars are parked at owner's risk. What does that mean, Daddy? Oh, nothing, Peppa. They always say that in car parks. Please make your way to the castle, where you will be met by a knight in armour. <laughs> Hello! It is Mr Rabbit, dressed as a knight in armour. We start the castle tour here, at the cannon. In the olden days, this cannon fired these heavy cannonballs high up into the sky. Daddy, is he going to fire the cannon? <laughs> no, that would be crazy. Right, let's fire the cannon. Five, four, three, two, one, fire! <laughs> that almost hit our car. Well, we do say cars are parked at owner's risk. On with the tour. You are going to see the wonders of the castle. Eat a real medieval banquet? Wow, a real medieval banquet. It sounds delicious. And meet a dragon. <laughs> this is the royal throne room where the king and queen would sit. Ooh. Who would like to have a go? <laughs> George can be king and I'll be a bossy queen. Do this, do that. <laughs> <laughs> Your Majesties, may I carry on with the tour? Yes, you may. We have to go through a secret passage. But first, we have to find the secret passage. Hmm. These secret passages usually have some sort of top secret button to open them. I don't think it's that big red button, George. That would be too obvious. Oh! Yes, we try to keep it simple. <laughs> this is fun! <laughs> this passage has led us to the dining hall. Wow! This must be the medieval banquet. Yes, it looks really tasty. It 
it's all made of plastic. Yes, it's to show what a real banquet would have looked like. Oh. But of course, as part of the tour, you get to have your very own real medieval banquet. Fantastic. Here it is, your banquet in a box. The oldie cheese sandwich, Jester's pickle and a king's jelly. It's a little picnic in a box. Yes, it's not quite the medieval banquet I was expecting. And now it's time to meet the dragon. <laughs> George, it won't be a real dragon. Dragons are just pretend. Yes, don't be sad if it's just Miss Rabbit holding a little glove puppet. Oh! Wow. Miss Rabbit is driving a huge robot dragon. Do you want to see it breathe fire? Yes, please! <laughs> I'm just going to park it! Oh, it's heading for our car! Another reason we say cars are parked at owner's risk. And that's the end of the tour! Hope you had a lovely time. I think that was George's best day out ever. <laughs> George loves castles. Everyone loves castles. Madame Gazelle's house. Pepper and her family are visiting Madame Gazelle. Hello, Madame Gazelle. Hello, everyone. Come in, come in. Whoa! Whoa! Your hallway is a big slide, Madame Gazelle. <laughs> is it meant to be like that? No, the house is just old. Everything here is a little bit wonky donkey. Oh, everything is leaning now, but it wasn't always this way. When did your house start leaning, Madame Gazelle? Oh, I don't know. It's been so long. And now I have cracks everywhere, too. Hmm. I think your house might need fixing. Can't I just paper over the cracks and paint it? That is what my builder told me to do. What does the outside wall look like? Ah, what's this? Oh, that is my little Christmas tree. That's not little. That's big. It was from Christmas a long time ago. It was a little baby tree with a fairy on top. After Christmas, I could not bear to throw it away. So I planted it in the garden. Your baby tree has grown so much, it's pushing your house over. That's why your house is all wonky donkey. Oh dear, what can we do about it? I'll call Mr. Bull. Hello, Mr. Bull. We have a big tree that needs looking at. I'll be right there. So, where's this tree then? Here it is. That's a mighty fine tree you have there, Madam Gazelle. Strong roots. Yes, but it's pushing the house over. Oh, yes. Let's chop it down. Oh, dear. My poor tree. Stop! I saw something move in the tree. It was a little animal. In that case, I must take a look. Before Mr Bull chops the tree down, he must check that no animals are living in it. Ah! Mr Bull has found a bird's nest. Look at that! Little birdies nesting in your tree, Madam Gazelle. Please, can I see the birdies? OK, Peppa. We can watch from the windows. Ooh, lovely birdies. I think there's something else higher up the tree. Look what's here! Fuzzy bees! <laughs> Let's see what else there is. I say, look at this! <gasps> it's an owl! Oh, I think I see something else. Onward and upward. Ah, ah! You've got bats, Madam Gazelle! Ah, my friends, the bats. They remind me of the old country. 
And what's this? Ah, my Christmas decorations! And a fairy! That is the fairy I put on the little tree all those years ago. It's a magnificent tree. A wonderful home to so many little animals. Yes, this tree should not be chopped down. Hooray! But wait, if the tree stays, what will happen to my house? Well, eventually it will fall over. But I need a house to live in. Oh. oh. Huh, I've got an idea. We'll put your house in the tree. Mr. Bull, the crane, please. Right you are. It's a tree house. <laughs> yes, it is wonderful. I have always wanted to live in a tree house. Thank you, everyone. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Madame Gazelle loves tree houses. Everyone loves tree houses. <laughs> Pepper and her playgroup are visiting the zoo for the day. Children, are you ready to see all kinds of animals? Yes, Madame Gazelle. Today, we will be meeting wild animals. Ooh. But don't worry, the wild animals will be safely behind fences. <laughs> ah, a lion has escaped! Hello, I'm Mr. Lion. Welcome to the zoo. It is Mr. Lion, the zookeeper. Hello, Mr. Lion. You've picked a good time to visit. It's feeding time. Ooh. This way to the animals. <laughs> Here are the tortoises. Ooh. We keep this gate shut so they don't run away. They don't look like they could ever run. No, they're moving very slowly. Yes, that's why they live to be so old. How long do they live? Tortoises can live a hundred years. Wow! Now, feeding time. Who knows what tortoises like to eat? Uh... Tortoises like to eat vegetables. That's right. That's why we feed them lettuce. Mr. Lion is feeding the tortoises lettuce. But of course, children, not all animals eat vegetables. That's right, Mrs. Wildebeest. My name is Madame Gazelle. Sorry, Gazelle, Wildebeest. For some reason, I always get those two mixed up. <laughs> Mr. Lion, what animal will we see next? I'll give you a clue. It lives in water. Is it a whale <laughs> or a shark? <laughs> Wait and see. <laughs> Look carefully into the water. I can't see anything. There's nothing in there. Wait, I think I see something. Ah! Crocodile! Hello, I'm Mrs. Crocodile. I'm the keeper in charge of the penguins. Ah, oh, penguins! Adorable, aren't they? And now it's their feeding time. Penguins eat fish. Ooh. Penguins are very good at catching. And waddling. <laughs> <laughs> and they like to swim. If you look through the glass wall, you can see the penguins swimming underwater. Wow! They're really good at swimming. Yes, that's why we have this fancy pool for them. Very interesting. Thank you, Mrs. Crocodile and Mr. Lion. It's our pleasure, Mrs. Wildebeest. Gazelle. Of course, yes, Gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> What animal are we meeting next? I can see it. It's very tall. It's a giraffe. Yes, that's my dad. He's a keeper at the zoo. Hello, I'm Mr Giraffe. Hello, Mr Giraffe. What sort of animal are you looking after? See if you can guess. <laughs> <laughs> Look up there. There's a net. It must be a flying wild animal. It must be hiding, watching us, waiting to pounce. <laughs> Ooh, butterflies! Mr Giraffe looks after the butterflies. Is it the butterflies' feeding time? 
Yes, and the butterflies get all the food they need from these flowers. It is amazing they can live on just the food from flowers. I wish I could get by just eating flowers. Yes. All this talk of eating has made me quite hungry. Me too. Well, it's our feeding time now. What's for lunch today, Mr. Lion? Oh, ho! lunch boxes for everyone. Sandwiches, fruit juice, and an apple. Little picnics in boxes. Tuck in, everyone. Hooray! <laughs> Mr. Lion loves feeding time at the zoo. Everyone loves feeding time at the zoo. <laughs> It is a lovely sunny day and the market has come to town. Apples! Apples! Get your apples here! Cheese! A smelly cheese! Fish! Nice fresh fish! Each market stall sells one thing. Apples! Cheese! Fish! Mr Fox's stall sells everything. Violins! Casters! Rocket engines! <laughs> Pepper and her family have come to the market to do their shopping. Fresh apples! Can we buy some apples, please? What kind would you like? Big or small? Red or green? We would like the apples that taste nice. Why don't you try one? Hmm, lovely. A bag of the lovely apples, please. Thank you. <laughs> Jeez! Jeez! George loves cheese. <laughs> I've got a very smelly cheese here. Uh, maybe Daddy Pig uh, should give it a sniff. <laughs> the smell of the cheese has knocked Daddy Pig off his feet. Wow, that's what I call a strong cheese. Good, isn't it? Mmm, yum, yum. George likes smelly cheese. <laughs> May we buy that one, please? Of course. Thank you. Fish. Nice fresh fish. Can we buy some fish, please? OK. I've got trout, addock, mackerel or squid. What would you like? They all look good. How about I give you some of each? Then you can make a lovely fish pie. Fish pie. Yummy. There you go. Thank you very much. Fish, apples, cheese. Here is Mr Fox's store. Bananas, flower yeah. tools, handbags. I'm selling anything, really. What do you want? Nothing, thank you. We've bought everything we need. Apples, cheese and fish. Oh, why didn't you come to me first? I've got all of that. Do you sell apples? You've never seen apples like these. They're made of wood. Wooden apples. Brilliant, aren't they? They'll last forever. What else did you buy? Cheese. <laughs> cheese? Oh, I've got all kinds of cheese here. <laughs> they don't smell of much. It's because they are plastic. Made of plastic? Yes, guaranteed to last you a lifetime. Buy one, get four free. No, thank you, Mr Fox. You bought a fish too, didn't you? I could have sold you a better fish. No plastic fish, thank you. This isn't plastic. Well, actually it is. But this is an amazing toy fish. Look, it sings. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. And it only needs 24 batteries. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Uh. Can we have one, Daddy? No. Please. We could take it home and it could sing to us all day. I'm sorry, Pepper, but our house doesn't need a singing fish. OK. Thanks, Mr Fox, but we really do have everything we came for. There must be something else you need. How about an antique china vase that will never break? Because it's uh, made of plastic. It's really lovely, but we just don't need anything. Oh, it is raining. Ah, we're getting all wet. No worries. I've got just the thing. Umbrellas. Oh, 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 we'll take them. Yes, four umbrellas, please. Mr Fox's store sells everything. You see, it's lucky you came to my stall. Yes, thank you, Mr Fox. 
And the best thing is, just for today, buy four umbrellas and you get a singing fish free. Oh, goody! <laughs> twinkle, twinkle. Peppa loves markets. Everyone loves markets. Once upon a time. Peppa and George are looking at storybooks. Look, George. This is an exciting adventure. <laughs> there are fairies and three bears who can't stop eating porridge. <laughs> and a naughty wolf who's looking for an old lady to eat. Oh. Don't worry, George. It's always a happy ending. <laughs> I wish we lived in a fairy story. <laughs> Peppa, George, it's time to go. Are we going on an adventure? Yes, we're going to Granny and Grandpa Pig's house for lunch. That's not an adventure. There'll be potatoes. Can we bring our picture books to read in the car? We're not going in the car, Pepper. We're walking there instead. Walking? All the way to Granny and Grandpa's house? Yes, there's a shortcut through the park. Will there be dragons and fairies in the park? Not that I know of. But it will be a nice walk. <sighs> but there won't be any magic. Maybe, if we look hard enough, we might see some. Pepper and George have arrived at the park. Hmm, it doesn't feel like a magic place. Oh, I don't know. It feels a bit magic to me. Yes, this is like the path in Little Red Riding Hood. I wouldn't be surprised if we bumped into the big bad wolf. <laughs> Hello there. It is Mr Wolf. Hello, Mr Wolf. How are you? Very well, thank you. Just a little bit hungry. I'm trying to decide where to go for lunch. I'm going to my granny's house for lunch. Are you really? Yes. Is it far? Not far. This is the shortcut. We'll be there soon. Very good. Oh, well. Catch you later. Goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> that was just like Little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> Meeting Mr Wolf in the middle of the woods when I'm going to Granny's house. <laughs> <laughs> Which way now, Daddy Pig? Uh, I'm not sure. There's a little house over there. Let's ask them the way. Hello. Is there anybody home? I wonder who lives here in the middle of the woods. There are three chairs. And three bowls of porridge. Hello, Peppa. Here are Belinda Bear and Mummy and Daddy Bear. Hello, Hello there. there. Hello, Mr and Mrs Bear. Sorry to trouble you. The door was open, so we came inside. It's quite all right. It's lovely to see you. Are you going to stay for lunch, Peppa? It's porridge. <laughs> it's not too hot or too cold, but just right. <laughs> We're actually on our way to have lunch at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Could you point us in the right direction, please? <laughs> that path there will take you to Granny Pig's house. Thank, Thank you. you. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Wow. That was just like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Yes, with a little house and three chairs. And three bowls of porridge. <laughs> <laughs> we are in a fairy tale. Peppa has arrived at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Granny Pig, we're here. Hello. Oh. Here is Mr Wolf. Mr Wolf, why are you here? I'm just round for something to eat. Your granny has made a lovely lunch. Mm -mm. Yes, I've made a lovely lunch and it's ready now. Come inside. Hello, Peppa. Hello. Wendy Wolf has come for lunch too. Lunch is served. Uh... Hooray! Potatoes! Ho, oh, oh. ho! You can never have too many potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy, I've had an adventure in the fairy tale woods. Ooh, what's the fairy tale woods? It's where you live inside a fairy story. <laughs> Peppa loves fairy stories. Everyone loves fairy stories. <laughs> Move to music. Peppa and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today you will use your imaginations to move to music. Ooh. 
What does this music make you think of? It makes me think of a piano. OK. It makes me think of music. Right. Use your imaginations. What pictures did the music make you think of? It makes me think of a cherry tree swaying in the wind on top of a beautiful mountain. Wonderful, Rebecca. So now I would like you all to imagine you are that tree, rooted to the rocky mountain top, bending in the wind. You are a tree. Your feet are rooted to the ground. Feel the wind in your branches and the sun on your leaves. You are a tree. Very good, children. I saw some lovely trees on mountain tops there. Now, listen to this piece of music. What did that music make you think of? Remember to use your imaginations. I know. Pedro? Is the answer a cherry tree swaying on the top of a beautiful mountain? Hmm, but this music was quicker, wasn't it? A cherry tree swaying quickly? Danny? It reminded me of a marching band. Very good, Danny. <laughs> this music has a very strong beat for stepping in time. Everyone, find something to bang from the music trolley. <laughs> Imagine you are in that band, marching along, beating your drums. Marvellous marching, children. Wasn't that fun? Yes, my Majesty. <laughs> the next piece of music is a little bit different. Remember, I want you to listen to it carefully and think about how it makes you feel. This music is about space. <laughs> it's an alien birthday party. Ah, what is wrong with this machine? <laughs> Robots from the future! <laughs> Hello, I'm an alien. Bleep, bleep, bloop, bloop. I am a robot! I am a robot! Zing, zong, zing! <laughs> this is the best music yet! No, no, I think the machine is broken. There. Oh. Now tell me, how does this make you feel? It makes me feel a bit bored. <sighs> it makes me feel tired. Has the music machine gone wrong again? No, this is music. It reminds me of a lovely garden on a hot summer day. A young man, a broken heart. Please, can we have the space music again? Th that was not music, it was the machine gone wrong. Do you not like this music? No. Madam Gazelle, can you make the machine go wrong again? No. Oh. I suppose we cannot all like the same things in life. I liked the space music. And me. me. And, and me. me. And, and me. And me. OK, OK, what does this music make you think of? I know, I know. This music makes me think of jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> <laughs> this way! <laughs> Follow me, everyone! <laughs> Jumping up and down in muddy puddles Swish, splash, splash, swish, splash With a big splash here and a big splash there Here a splash, there a splash, everywhere a splish, splash Jumping up and down in muddy puddles Swish, splash, splash, splish, splash Peppa <laughs> loves moving to music Everyone loves moving to music. Soft play. It is morning. Pepper and her family are having breakfast. Oh, there's a letter here for George. <laughs> <laughs> it's an invitation to Richard Rabbit's party. Sounds fun. I'll take George to the party, as long as it's not at that awful soft play centre. It says soft play. Ah. Daddy doesn't like the soft play centre. Last time he got stuck and was rescued by a helicopter and a fire engine and a crane. It wasn't exactly like that, Pepper. It was only a helicopter. I think soft play sounds lovely. 
I will go with you, George. <laughs> <laughs> it is time for Richard Rabbit's party. Bye. I'll be back to pick you up later. You're very welcome to stay if you want. It's soft play, isn't it? No thanks. <laughs> Hello. You're very welcome to stay if you want. See you later. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello, Mummy Pig. I quite understand if you don't want to stay. No, I'll stay. Us grown-ups can have a nice, quiet chat while the children play. Oh, OK. <laughs> this is the Soft Play Centre, where everything is soft, so children can bounce, swing, squash, slide, and play! This is great! The children are having so much fun! Yes, I just hope we can get them out at the end! The little children have been playing all day. Home time, children! <laughs> that was a lovely party, wasn't it? Yes! Have you all had fun? Yes! Are you ready to go home now? No! <laughs> Goodness, we're never going to get them out. There's only one thing for it. I'll have to go in. Good luck. Ooh. Ah, I'm stuck. Help. Don't worry, I'm coming in. I'm nearly there. Oh, no, I'm stuck too. Help. Hello. Mr Elephant has come to collect Edmund Elephant. Mr Elephant! Help! We're stuck! <laughs> no problem, ladies. I'll get you out. No, don't! You'll get stuck! It's a trap! Ah! I'm stuck! <laughs> Daddy Pig, Peppa and Susie have come to collect George. <laughs> ah, what good little children you are. Uh, where are your parents? Hi! We're, We're stuck. stuck! Ho, ho! That usually happens to me! That is going to happen to me, isn't it? I'm going to go in there and get stuck. Me and Susie can go in. We're smaller. That's kind of you both, but it is my job. As a grown-up, I must do this. But, Daddy! Don't worry, Peppa. If I get stuck, I will ring for the rescue services. <laughs> ah, yes, I'm stuck. Lucky I've got my phone. Hello, rescue service. Oh, you're in here too? Yes, I'm a bit tied up at the moment. So there's no one to rescue us? We're here, Daddy. <laughs> we will rescue the grown-ups. That tickles. Hey! Thank you, Pepper and Susie, for rescuing us. Hip hip! Hooray! Hooray! Now we can all go home. <laughs> the little ones have gone back inside. Pepper, can you bring the little ones out now? Yes, Daddy. But we might have to play a bit first. <laughs> Pepper and Susie love the soft play centre. Everyone loves the soft play centre. When I grow up. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today we are going to talk about what you would like to be when you grow up. Ooh. You can use the dressing up box to help you decide. <laughs> Madame Gazelle, I don't know what I want to be when I grow up. Don't worry, Peppa, you have plenty of time to think about it. OK. When I grow up, I want to be the Queen, so I can tell people what to do. I see. I think I might like to be a teacher. What is it about being a teacher that you like the most, Emily? Telling people what to do. OK. I want to be a policeman when I grow up. The police drive cars with flashing lights. Nina, Nina, Nina. Thank Nina, you, Freddy. Nina, woo. -woo. <laughs> what 
What else do you like about being a policeman? They tell people what to do. Right. I would like to be a doctor or a nurse. Why do you think you would like that job, Susie? Because they help sick people get better. <laughs> Wonderful. And they tell people what to do. Yes, not all jobs are about telling people what to do. Oh. There are lots of other important jobs like being a builder or a poet. When I grow up, I will be a pirate. Uh -huh. Pirates sing happy songs and they go yo-ho-ho. -ho. Yes, I'm not sure that being a pirate is a job as such. Either a pirate or a farmer. Oh yes, being a farmer is much better. You would grow things and make food for us all to eat. And I'll tell all the animals what to do. Right. I will be a superhero. Being a superhero is a very important job. You have to run faster than a train, jump tall buildings and... I don't want to do all of those superhero things, but I do want to tell people what to do. <laughs> Yes, of course. <laughs> it is home time and the parents have come to collect the children. Hello, my little piggies. <coughs> so tell me, what did you learn at playgroup today? Madam Gazelle asked us what we want to be when we grow up. That sounds nice. Not really, Mummy. Everybody knows what they want to be, but I don't. Do you know what you want to be when you grow up, George? Dinosaur! George wants to be a dinosaur when he grows up. You see? Don't worry, Peppa. You have plenty of time to decide what you want to be. OK. What do you do, Mummy? I work on my computer. Do you get to tell people what to do? No. Well, that's no good then. It is bedtime for Peppa and George. What do you do, Daddy? I could tell you, Peppa, but I think you'd find it a bit boring. I wouldn't, Daddy. <coughs> please tell me, please. OK. My job is to design and facilitate strategies of function by material means in concrete. Do you like your job, Daddy? I like it, but not everyone would. Everyone is different, Peppa. Hmm. What can I do, then? Think of something you like doing. I like jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Uh, there aren't that many jobs. I, I... want to be famous for jumping in muddy puddles. <laughs> I want to be famous for having a big tummy, Peppa. But that's never going to happen. But I'm very good at puddle jumping. Yes, I suppose you are. When I grow up, I will show everyone in the world how to jump in muddy puddles. That sounds like a very good idea. Night, night, Pepper. Night, night, George. Night, night. Pepper and George are falling asleep to dream about dinosaurs and puddle jumping. <laughs>